And welcome back, guys. So, we're going to be playing some Starfield today. I was going to try doing the first contact mission, but it seems to be bugged. Uh, like, supposedly a HUD supposed to pop up saying that you're locked to the ship, and then you're supposed to be able to do, do hailing communications, and that's not working for me at all. So hopefully that's a bug that gets fixed in the next update. But yeah, that's the first major game-breaking bug. It literally makes it impossible for you to do the first contact quest quite literally for PC. So yeah, really sucks. <laughs> I was looking forward to going on the big ship. Anyways, I guess we're going to go ahead and do return to Vector or wherever the hell that is. <laughs> make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. Let's get into it. You're back. Oh, we'll get to what happened to Barrett. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Don't you lin me. I thought things had already gone sideways. But no, that was just the beginning. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. Who knows with pirates? Revenge? Peeking at the scraps? Maybe they're from a different crew and we just got hit twice by sheer bad luck. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you.
Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. And they could have grab-jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them, I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up.
wanna try fixing that computer? Go ahead. Don't see what good it will do since they're already gone, but fine.
Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. actually get that computer working again? What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand... Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Be a while before Argos comes to pick me up. I'll be here if you need me. And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Good luck finding Barrett. Keep an eye out for Hello while you're at it. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If my contract's up with Argos and I could use a change of scenery. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I'm needed. Right. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later.
I have a request from people on the ship to talk with an actual ship captain. I'd appreciate it if you have the time. But if you don't, that is really all right. That door is really keen on talking with you. Articulate and wealthy. Intriguing. Last question. Let... Space is a lawless mess. If you could make the damn politicians fix one thing about it, what would it be?
can't believe Barrett snuck a transmission to us. finds a way. Damn him. Something I can help you with, Dusty? Break time's over. some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Considering the spaceship wreckage, you mean? Yeah, well, you missed the worst of it. Pretty sure we ripped through all the emergency meds that were salvageable. Hey, uh, you know, when I uh, pulled you to the med bench back on Vectera, I honestly thought, shit, I think I just saved someone's life. Oddly proud moment, you know? So, uh, I guess I'm saying, glad I paid it forward. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother, I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Yeah, I'm starting to see that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, This kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these hurly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean... I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out. 
And when I came to, there he was. You miss the fun part, Heller. <laughs> I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little finger gun thing. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay. I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. I was drifting in and out, but... Yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. <laughs> Haven't really been in a good... <clears throat> space. To have a listen. Here you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Yeah, just uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Uh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is. Yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. Still think there might be a spot? Phew, oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were going to leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? Got it. Catch you on the flip side, Bob.
expect some people owe you their lives. Any way we can repay you? Hope this helps you out. You take care. die here if we leave the ship without our suits. So before we go too far, just so everyone's on the same page, failure to communicate, uh, we tried doing that quest and it seems that it is too hard to do right now. And then you've got first contact, which the, the quest seems to be bugged out. So those are the reasons we're not doing those two right now. One, the first one's hard, and we need a better ship and better stuff to do that one. <laughs> and first contact is bugged out and can't actually, you know, interact with the quest at all. So it's not great for a brand new game. Anyways, let's get back to some more gameplay of Starfield.
can't believe we got into this mess. Would you be quiet? You've given the fleet a lot of trouble, Barrett. Hey, since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move! He's trying to figure out our destination, probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah, thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Tie him up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. like we found a blank slate. We can build or mine whatever we need. this to defend my home and my family. 
little certainty to the universe at all. Once you really start getting out there, the laws of physics kind of turn into suggestions. Pulling my leg again, right? It's the weirdest thing you've seen. No exaggeration. on your own. You look well. There's room in my... Is that all? Well, uh, I can't say I feel too bad about you killing someone who kidnapped me and probably murdered a lot of people. Uh... Honestly, I was kind of rolling the dice with you. But hey, sometimes a bet pays off. Matsuo the Grim? Honestly, a pretty nice guy as far as pirates go. I think I butted heads with his mentor once years back. Had the same kind of surprisingly hospitable vibe. Hey, you're underselling my harrowing escape from certain doom here. A little charm goes a long way when the knives are out. Gladly. I think about it a lot. There's so many possibilities. Some wonderful, some too. I'm not a fear, and I'm keen. Sure, like. Okay. Right.
have you been? I have room for that. I'll see you later.
I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Barrett, we were worried sick. Well, some of us were. I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign when he's worried. Don't start, country. Wait, is that? <laughs> and to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library show. Now, look at them all. Just, what are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Why would either of those things give the Discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora is on your ship. Hmm. Why not? What do you think, Cora? It's really nice to have more company. New stories, new data. What? Data? <laughs> All right. We're in. Let's see what the galaxy throws at us next. Okay. Let me know when you need. to see you back in one piece. You feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, I had the visions. Being around them is just... comforting. So hey, I I'm still not a hundred percent, plus I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around? Help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe. Marvelous. I don't know about you, but a fella can do a lot worse in Constellation. I know everyone's excited by the artifacts, but we need to be as objective as possible and be aware of possible negative effects.
My family never had any love for the UC. Look, you didn't hear it from me, but I got a tip. There's a way to hack the Vanguard exam. Get yourself. You enlisting too? Grew up in Neons. Grew up in Neons. You enlisting too? I've always wanted to. Welcome to MAST. If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. I have a feeling today is going to be a great day. Don't you agree? That is convenient, but riding right after eating can give you stomach aches.
something for you. Here. I got it. I had almost forgotten I picked it up for you. Anyway, I figured you might have a use. Is mining on the schedule today? I suppose that wouldn't kill me. Don't do anything stupid out there. Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.